Okay, this is John from tcmathacademy.com, and here we have a lovely basic algebra equation. So it is uh, 3n minus 1 half is equal to 1 half. So for those of you out there that are taking a course like pre-algebra, algebra 1, this should be a very easy problem for you. But uh, even if you're not taking algebra yet, let's say you're in sixth grade math or fifth grade math, you might uh, have learned enough algebra to solve this problem. Matter of fact, um, a lot of you don't even realize we've been doing algebra way back in, like, in the first and second grade. Remember problems like this? If I had box plus 2 is equal to 5, well, this, in fact, is an algebra problem. Now, you may not think it's an algebra problem, but it is. So box is what? Well, it's a symbol that represents a number, and that's what this N is right here. That's a symbol that represents a number. So here, we kind of had to kind of guess, right? You're like, okay, so 1 plus 2, no, that's 3. 2, 2, no, that's 4. Oh, 3. 3 plus 2 uh, is, in fact, 5. That is the answer. But really what this is, you don't, uh, you know, you may not realize that this is an equation. Matter of fact, is uh, it is an algebraic equation. So you've been doing algebra way back in your first and second grade. But uh, anyways, if you think you can solve this problem, go to put your answer into the comment section. I'm going to show you the correct uh, answer in just one second. Also, if you need uh, math help with the course you're taking, test prep or homeschooling, check out my math help program again at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link uh, to my program in the description below. Also, if you like this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to my channel as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so let's go to take a look at the answer here. 3n minus 1 half is equal to 1 half. Uh, I forgot to tell you, don't use a calculator. Anytime you, know, you see fractions, do not. The worst thing you could do is just start converting your fractions uh, to decimals, right? There's a time and place for that, but as a general rule, um, you always want to put your calculator away when dealing with fractions. But let's go ahead and uh, take a look at the answer. N is equal to one-third. That is the solution to that basic equation. Okay, so how'd you do? Well, if you got that right, let's go ahead and celebrate by giving you a nice little happy face and A+, plus, a 100% and a few stars so you could tell your friends and family that you know how to solve a basic algebra equation. I'm pretty sure that would be very impressive news to them. They might be like, wow, very, very good. Anyways, so let's go ahead and take a look at um, the actual problem and, of course, the solution. So the main idea here is this. You can see I've already have the work pre-written. But anytime in algebra you're trying to solve a basic, what we call, linear equation, there's all these different sorts of um, uh, problems in algebra, different types of equations. Matter of fact, if I take this n and I put a little 2 up there, and I have 3n squared, basically the same numbers but this little 2, this equation went from goes from a linear equation to a quadratic equation, and it requires... Uh, all different types of uh, uh, steps. So remember, in algebra, a huge part of algebra is learning how to solve a variety of different type of equations, and uh, there's different kind of you know techniques, et cetera, et cetera. So just don't you know say, hey, I know how to solve algebra equations. Well, there's different types. But here's the main idea: when we're solving basic linear equations, what we want to do is get all of our variable terms to the left and all of our numbers to the right. Okay, so in other words, we have 3n minus 1 half is equal to 1 half. Well, my variable term, 3n, that's on the left-hand side, so that's good. But this number, this uh, 1 half, is on the wrong side of the equation. We're going to need to move it over. I want to show you exactly how to do that in one second. So it's just kind of just general um, kind of uh, guidance on solving basic linear equations. Now, another major uh, rule when you're solving basic equations equations in algebra is the following. Whatever you do to one side of the equation, you, well, let's just say this much. You can do anything you want for the most part uh, to an equation as long as you do it equally to both sides. In other words, if you want to add a number to the left-hand side of the equation, no problem. Just make sure you, have, you add that exact same number on the other side, okay? That equation always has to remain in balance. You want to subtract a number on the left-hand side? No big deal. Just as long as you subtract uh, that same number on the right-hand side. And this goes um, also with variable terms. So just kind of some real basic um, uh, review of concepts 
for linear equations. And what we're doing here is what we call a two-step equation because it's going to require exactly stu uh, two steps to solve. Okay, so that's just kind of the setup here. Let's go ahead and get into actual solution. So as I indicated, we have our variable t uh, term 3n to the left, but we don't have all of our numbers to the right. So how can we get this one half to the other side? Well, this is a negative one half. Well, if I add a one half to a negative one half, all of this right here will become zero, right? So I want to kind of disappear this one half on the left hand side. So I'm like, okay, I got a negative one half. How can, how can I get rid of it over here? We'll just add a positive one half to it. But again, what is the rule in algebra? Well, if I add a positive one half on this side, I just, I could do that as long as I add a positive one half on the other side. That is the main, main idea. Now, I notice I'm kind of working in a vertical format. You can work horizontally. In other words, you could be like 3n minus 1 half plus 1 half. You could kind of put your work this way, but I'm going to suggest that you don't do that because uh, that's going, you're going to basically run out of um, uh, the width of your paper by working that way. So you kind of want to get in the habit of writing your numbers when you're adding or subtracting terms or numbers from both sides of the equation underneath in this manner. Okay, so now what do we do next? Well, once you kind of know that we're going to add one half to both sides of the equation, effectively you're going to be adding down in a column manner. So 3n plus nothing is what? That's just 3n. We're going to write that there because we know this negative one half plus one half is zero. There's no need to write a zero there. It just kind of disappears. And then one half plus one half, well, what is that equal to? Well, hopefully you're up to speed on your fractions. And even if you're not, one half plus one half is what? Well, that's one, okay? So just to be uh, super clear about this, one half plus one half, uh, the denominators are the same as two, so we add the numerators, one plus one is two, two divided by two, of course, is one. All right, so here is um, where our equation stands. We have three n is equal to one. So to solve for n, all we need to do is divide both sides of the equation by three, so we have n is equal to one third. All right, so this required two steps. The first step was to add one half to both sides of the equation. And then right here, the second step was to divide both sides of the equation by three to solve for n. Okay, so the, again, we're talking about basic linear equations, basic algebra. If you need help with this, I have a ton of additional videos on my YouTube channel on uh, basic um equation solving, but uh, I would strongly suggest that you check out my pre-algebra course Is this if this is stuff that is new to you. In my pre-algebra course, not only do I teach you a ton of algebra, I also have a full chapter on fractions as well, and that's a typical, um, very common area where students are weakened in terms of their ability to solve algebra problems. They're a little bit shaky on fractions. So if you're you know, struggling a bit with fractions, trust me, you're not alone. A lot of people don't understand fractions as well as they need to. Okay, so hopefully this video was useful. And if that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.